very much for coming. Um, it's a great joy for us to see all of you and to share this memorable day with us. And uh, we'd like to thank the most honorable members of our Canadian society and Russian guests uh, for visiting. I would first like to introduce uh, Mr. Gordon Lenden. privilege to be here and I, I want a little advice from you people. I was uh, recently in uh, Spain and I was in Barcelona and I got lost a little bit. I was with three other guys and you know what happened? I asked the first guy, do you know where the street is? And he said, no. And I went to the second guy and he said, oh yeah, it's back here. And he came back to the street. The first guy signaled two guys across the street. Right? And I started up the street. First guy came along in front of me and ripped my pocket off my shirt, oh. took my blackberry, and there was a guy behind me cut, cutting my fanny pack off with a razor blade. I kicked oh. him in the face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Good luck. laughs> the other guy when I turned around, but when I turned back around, I realized he had a towel on the shoulder. And I grabbed the towel, so I chased him down the street. Right? My three friends are still running behind me. And he turns into an alley and he goes into a condo and he disappeared. Right? So then I had to walk a mile and a half to the police station. I go to the police station and they said to me, you know what, it's going to be three hours before we take your report because there's 300 people ahead of you that have been mugged or pickpocketed. Come back tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock. So I'm back at 11 o'clock the next morning. And there was another 300 that had been mugged the night before. So I think they need you people very badly in Spain to teach how to, how to protect their tourists because I'll tell you, the police don't have an interest in it. I talked to the police and they said, oh no, we, we, can't, we don't have enough police to do it and patrol these areas. And it's really hurting their tourism because you can't ride the subways, you can't. I have friends that had $3,000 for the cam camera equipment stolen, etc. And we just don't, as, as Canadians, we don't think about it. We think our personal security is okay, you know, and we go to countries like this and we have to learn. We have to take our jewelry off, put our passports off in there, don't take any money with you, etc. But it's, it's good that you have a, a school here. I think it makes, uh, it's important that people can protect them, themselves well. And I think what you're doing is very, very good. And I understand that there's 100 schools around the world. About 200. 200 that you're involved with. And uh, I, I didn't even know this existed here. And you've got 600 people coming to this. So that's amazing. You've done an amazing job of starting this up and getting this going. So thank you. Thank you. You know, I would love to pick up this facility and just throw it on the other side of Young Street, but I don't think myself and the regional council Rosati could do that. But we're here to support this great facility here in the town of Marco. I just want to congratulate you, congratulate the organizers and everyone here involved. But in particular, I am, but you know, I, I came here, but one of the main reasons I came here was to meet a hockey legend, someone as a young child who I've watched. Vladimir Trechak, thank you so much for being here. What a, what a thrill. Uh, I know as Canadians we all think of back to the 72 games when Henderson scored that goal. On. <laughs> But uh, I know from, from, from the Russians uh, that that was a sad day, but now most of you are Russian, Russian descent, are proud Canadians as well and appreciate your Russian heritage. And we look back as a, as a sport of hockey, as something where it raises great camaraderie, it's great physical fitness, something very similar to martial arts, where it's, it's great to get out, there's a discipline behind it, but it's great physical fitness. In this day and age of, of electronics, TVs, video games, I think it's important to encourage facilities like this to get out and be more physically fit. I know I could be more physically fit, unfortunately. But with that, 
Congratulations, and it's my pleasure to be here today. Thank you very much. Thank you. York Regional Councilor Gino Rosati, and representing the city of Vaughan. Um, to say a few words. So thank you for coming. Here. I want to say, I want to say thank you to Gordon for allowing me and our mayor to cross the border and come into my It's a real honor to be here to meet all of you, and I want to congratulate you with us and the organizers. And uh, and I want to see some demonstration now so that I can watch and so I think I can take some lessons. <laughs> Representatives from the York Regional Police, uh, from the Chief Department. I understand that to say a few words. Uh, Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's an honor for us to be present at the opening ceremony. And uh, on behalf of the Chief and York Regional Police, again, we congratulate you. We wish all the best to your business and hope we're going to be part of your regional community. As you know, the original police has a uh, long history of relationship with all the communities in New York. And um, we hope that the Russian uh, martial arts is going to be a big part of it. And uh, we're looking forward to working with you guys. And we have all the resources you need. And again, congratulations and uh, all the best. Еще раз поздравления всем. Мы очень рады, что центр открывается здесь. И мы думаем, будем очень хорошо работать вместе. Всего вам хорошего и только успехов. I see a big athlete family. Yeah, it's very really good. I was playing 15 years professional. Yeah, I know what sport uh, helps you. Um, 1972 is the best hockey yeah. I see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two great teams, Russian team and Canada, the best team. Yeah, I remember all my life. I'm very I'm very happy to play yeah, I remember all my life. Я хотел бы всем, кто по-русски, пожелать удачи. Я очень рад, что вот такая дружеская команда здесь. И все мы вместе получаем удовольствие. И самое главное, что спорт объединяет людей разных стран. Это очень здорово. Я вам желаю удачи. Вот так вот тучи. introduce to our honorable guests uh, the founder of Sistema uh, that came to us all the way from Moscow, um, the most amazing master of martial arts, um, Mikhail Gapko. and he's uh, doing a lot of work both with the Russian federal government and uh, with uh, actually every aspect of Russian life, social, political, spiritual, and so on. I don't know what to do. Our fight is very interesting. We pay more attention to the military, because I was in the military our martial art is very unique and very interesting because it's applied martial art. This style is also very adaptable to train athletes in any type of sport, to give them health and fitness foundation. Although many units and special forces in many countries are applying Sistema work and Sistema principles. We were invited to the ООН and our fight is the most human fight in the world. 
a few years ago, we were invited for a demonstration to the United Nations uh, organization in New York, and we did a very extensive demonstration. And we were noted to be the most humane martial art of the existing ones. This could be useful for anyone. Um, as we had the, uh, the story of robbery in Spain, uh, this could happen to any person. So, what is the question? If you can do something, then we will always be used for it. If you can do something, then we will always be used for it. And if you haven't used it, that's great. Do you like it? Thank you. 